Just where was Carnival of Souls actually filmed? Well, let's take the carnival tour. Since the film was very low budget and involved key individuals from Centron Studios, Lawrence, Kansas was ideal for most of the shooting. This intersection at 23rd and Iowa has changed considerably, but this is where the drag race occurred when shooting began back in 1961. Several dirt roads used for the race are now paved along Clinton Parkway. And the Lecompton Bridge, site of the car dropping into the Kansas River, has been completely rebuilt. No more $12 repair jobs here. The Reuter Organ Company, where Mary Henry plays the organ and starts her journey to Salt Lake City, is still located in downtown Lawrence at 612 New Hampshire. Many of the rooms and construction areas have not changed since the film was made, including the main assembly room. The room that Mary Henry stayed at in Salt Lake City was located in this house at 6th and Louisiana. The exterior was also used as Mrs. Thomas's rooming house in the film. The church Mary Henry played at in Salt Lake City is also here at 10th and Vermont in Lawrence. Not only is the outside of Trinity Episcopal Church used in the film, but the interior, the organ loft, containing a Reuter organ, by the way, and these stained glass panels also have significant parts in the film. Even the man himself, played by Herc Harvey, was not afraid of these church walls. The other locations, the bar known as the Dynamite Inn, the gas stations, the bus depot, are long gone or irrevocably changed. Although the department store interiors and exteriors were filmed in Salt Lake City, Utah, the doctor's office was located here on the soundstage at Centron Studios, now Old Father Studios. This soundstage was dedicated and renamed for Herc Harvey in 1996. The centerpiece of the film, the Salt Air Amusement Pavilion, has gone through a variety of incarnations since it first appeared in 1893. A fire destroyed the first Salt Air in 1925, and it was entirely rebuilt a year later. A new addition at the time was the world's largest indoor dance floor, capable of supporting 2,000 couples and two orchestras. Glenn Miller, Tommy Dorsey, and others played at Salt Air. The lake receded in the mid-1950s, and the pavilion was left high and dry by the end of that decade. In the winter of 1970, long after Carnival of Souls was filmed, salt air burned to the ground again. It was reconstructed in 1983 with its central structure built to resemble the salt airs of the past. It was open for one year before the Great Salt Lake rose and in a violent thunderstorm straight out of Hollywood, washed over it and swallowed it up. There are still hopes of salvaging and reopening this unique attraction, but not until the Great Salt Lake goes down again. Perhaps the most unusual of the film's locations was one that I asked Herc Harvey about several years ago. I asked about the shots of the dead people rising from Salt Lake, imagining that it had been filmed on location near Salt Air. Herc shattered my illusion of this stark, spooky sequence by telling me that it was filmed in an apartment swimming pool not far from his home. Oh, the magic of the movies. 